Hello and welcome to the instructional video for cardinalpoints.co.uk. This is a free web-based resource provided by the web design agency Jon Jonsson. Cardinal Points is a map and compass simulation used to teach navigation skills. It features a 360 degree panorama and interactive compass. It is based at Castle Rig Stone Circle in the beautiful English Lake District. So let's get started. To begin, we click Start Navigation Training. The first thing you will see is the panorama of the stone circle and the compass below. Either side of the compass is a blue arrow and clicking on these pans around the stone circle. This is the equivalent of turning on the spot. Click on Lesson 1 in the menu. In Lesson 1 we're going to take a bearing from a feature in the landscape and then we're going to find it on the map. So what does this mean and how is it useful? Well, imagine you're in the countryside, you're not lost, you know exactly where you are and you have your map and compass with you. But you want to identify something in the distance. Perhaps a mountain or in this case one of the stones. By pointing the compass at it and measuring its angle from north we can identify it on the map. Notice, as we pan around the landscape, the red magnetic needle always points north. And if we line it up with the black direction of travel arrow, we'll be facing north. What we need to do now is point the black direction of travel arrow at one of the stones. We've numbered some of the stones, so I'm going to point it at stone number four. Very easily identifiable. There's two of them together. We now need to measure the angle between magnetic north and the object we're pointing at. This angle is called a magnetic bearing. Remember, we could just as easily be pointing at one of the mountains in the distance. We need to rotate the compass housing. That's the grey circular bit. We click on it and we can rotate it round. And we line up the blue arrow with the red arrow. This is just like using a protractor at school. We click next and the map opens. This is the map of the stone circle and you're here, roughly in the centre. We're going to drag the compass onto your location so the left hand edge is lying on your, your position. We could just as easily use the right hand edge. You will notice on this map that north is at the top and there are faint lines marked on the map. These are called grid lines. There are also lines inside the compass housing. These are parallel to the blue orienting arrow. We can rotate the compass around your position and line up these orienting lines and make sure the blue orienting arrow is pointing towards the top of the map. And you'll notice something rather interesting has happened. The edge of the compass should now point from your position towards the stone that you chose. It was labelled number four, remember. Remember, it's the edge of the compass and not the black direction of travel arrow that should point at the stone. And that's it. Visit the website, have a go yourself. It's a tricky subject, but you'll improve the more you practice.